folks, uh, welcome to Greyhawk, Scottsdale, Arizona. This is the Talon course. Played Raptor a few weeks ago. Fantastic, delicious. Um, Talon. This is the other course. We're on the back nine. We're on the 11th hole. Very beautiful. Fantastic conditions. The back nine. I'm just getting to the back nine for the first time. Rumor has it the back nine is the uh, the best nine here. This 11th hole is called Swinging Bridge. It's called that because uh, there's a bridge, and the bridge when you walk across it, it fucking swings. So they just called the hole Swinging Bridge, which is genius. And this is why they call it Swinging Bridge. It's a bridge, and we're kind of swinging, just while trying to walk across it, kind of like popping up and down. It's almost like we're in some sort of fantasy land, fairy tale. Here's the tea. I don't have a drone. You'll notice there's a lot of B-roll that we're doing here. I flew my drone into a fucking tree in Florida. It's still there. True story. Um, we were filming. We had a very prominent PGA Tour superstar in the first tee, and I was doing this cool sort of a reveal spin around shot, and then it just went into the fucking tree and never came out. So I don't have the drone. And I forgot my tripod, so you're getting a little bit of lower, but you should be able to uh, visualize the golf ball nicely from that view. Uh, it says 175 on the card to the middle. Um, also forgot my rangefinder. I'm gonna say it's about a 167 shot um, is where the pin is maybe. And I'm, I'm gonna hit an eight iron. Uh, we're out in the desert, ball goes a little farther. 11th hole talent course. Oh, also this little uh, barrel that tells you where the 10th tee is. Huge fan of that thing. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. Eight iron. 167, eight iron. I got this new, I'm doing, I'm working on the impact zone. I gotta keep it square. Yeah. See how it works. Right at it. <laughs> it just cleared. And then take a good bounce. I think it's on the front end. Can't quite tell how far, but we're gonna have a look, which is exciting. That's our result, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad. Kind of just caught it a little high on the face. There's that sun, that desert sun. Okay, just so everybody knows, I haven't read a putt out here correctly yet. They're all pretty much straighter than I think. Everybody talks about the valley, which I think is like that way. This looks like it should go left, but I'm gonna play it pretty straight for Bert. Briggs from Barstool Sports for Bert. Mm. That's a par. For those of you keeping track at home, which you should be, Riggsy so far in the desert is even par, or no, one under. Oh, I was even par in that hole. You add that to a one under score and you just remain one under. Talon course here at Great Hawk, or Gray Hawk. I'm very excited to see the back nine. They have the Raptor course. They're hosting the NCAA championships in the spring. Phenomenal shape, cool views. Isabella's is one of my favorite dinner spots in town. Great service, great food. They got a whole scene going here. I like a scene. I'm a fan of a scene of an ambiance. Shout out to Gwinnie Balls. 11th hole at the, um, Talent course, that's a par, we're one under. Feels good. By the way, it's uh, late in the day here. Sun's setting. And as you can tell, I'm going back across the swinging bridge because I left my seven iron. So we gotta, we gotta, go, <laughs> we gotta go back across the seven iron. What, what a swing that bridge does. Really cool. Great time. 